In this video, by popular request, I'm going to run through the most useful functions, in my experience, of using Marvin Sketch, which is the chemistry-focused sketching program that is primarily used to represent organic structures, uh, but can actually represent a whole lot more things related to chemistry than just organic structures. So after the program is installed, let's familiarize ourselves with the interface here. Uh, most of the line drawings of bonds you can find on the far left tab here, and there are additional buttons down here that are allow quick inserts of ring structures, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so your most important default to tool is going to be the single bond creator here, and since this program is focused on organic chemistry, it's just going to insert a single carbon to carbon bond, uh, which allows you to draw the line structure of ethane like this. Now, you can see in my structure that uh, if you were to draw this as a true line structure, you, um, you wouldn't actually show the carbons or the implied hydrogens that are here. I've actually turned this on to make it easier to count carbons and hydrogens when your organic molecule gets larger, but you can actually change this by going to View, and then if you want to make all of the implicit hydrogens, meaning the hydrogens in a line structure, uh, right now I have it set on terminal, meaning whenever there's a carbon on the end, uh, the implicit hydrogens are shown. But if we turn it off entirely, uh, now it just looks like a traditional line structure. And if we were to actually draw a compound, it looks like the line structures that we've drawn here. But if we want to see, just for the sake of security, that there is a carbon on the ends, we can highlight the structure like this, go to view, and turn implicit hydrogens uh, on hetero, meaning um, meaning a carbon where every single atom in the mol uh, bonded to the carbon is different, and terminal referring to carbons on the end. And if we turn that on, we can see that our invisible hydrogens are now suddenly visible. And if you highlight, you can see exactly the number of hydrogens that are located on each of the carbon molecules. And this technically also applies to ring structures. So if we want to insert a cyclopentane quickly, I can click this pentagon shape on the bottom and drop the structure in and ta-da, we now have a cyclopentane molecule. And you will notice that there is no um, hydrogen or carbon that is explicitly shown here because there is no terminal carbon in a ring because you can just keep counting carbons in a circle forever and ever and ever. Now, arguably, the most popular function of Marvin Sketch is the structure to name function. So if we radically modify this um, uh, this pentane molecule that we have, like if we just, um, I'm not really trying to make a specific molecule here, I'm just adding... Um, side chains uh, more or less indiscriminately like this and I think I've just yeah I've made a carbon with five bonds so if you go crazy the cool thing about Marvin sketch is that it can actually tell you when you've made a structure that is not physically possible to make so we know that carbon cannot have an expanded valence shell because there is no D subshell at energy level two so this carbon is illegal and that's why there's a red underline there to show that we've made an impossible structure so we can take one of our methyl groups and delete it like that and there is no problem now um now the way that the structure to name function works is we just need to highlight the molecule in question and if we go to structure there should be an option called structure to name and if you click generate name here and select preferred iupac name iupac is international union of pure and applied chemistry uh, which is the governing body that makes the rules that you're learning if we check this and hit ok now we can see that this uh, molecule that i kind of created willy-nilly is simply called 33 diethyl 2244 tetramethyl pentane um, and if you actually were to work through you can see there are two ethyls on carbon three right in the center and one two three four methyls uh, all on carbons two and carbon four so the algorithm that named this um is 
uh, exactly as we expect. And what it's done here is, in addition to the molecule that I've highlighted, because I also dropped down this cyclopentane here, it gave me the name, uh, because this program basically names any structure that you have drawn um, in the doodle pad here. Uh, if you want an even quicker solution, uh, you can go to structure, structure the name, and then it just says place IUPAC name, and then it gives you the name of the compound right here, and we can see that cyclopentane cyclopentane the other molecule is here if we delete that okay the name doesn't go away but you get the idea so um what is that is arguably the most useful function when dealing with what is in my opinion the most frustrating part of organic chemistry which is the naming system now a few more cool utilities you can use if you don't want to place individual carbon to carbon bonds like this like if you just want a really really long hydrocarbon chain uh you can actually use the click and drag function here and the number of carbons that you add is actually listed in the top left hand corner and this is very useful for biology students if you actually want to draw a large molecule like a fatty acid or a triglyceride or a phospholipid this is a way to quickly very very easily draw a large carbon to carbon to carbon to carbon to carbon, to carbon chain etc like this now, in the organic chemistry unit, eventually we're going to get to functional groups, which are, are groups of atoms that we add to hydrocarbons that do not contain hydrogen or carbon. So one of those examples is an alcohol, uh, which is simply an OH group that is bonded to carbon. So if we go over to the right-hand side here, you can actually choose from any element on the periodic table if you want to show ionic compounds or weird silicon compounds uh, you can choose them but all of the major atoms that you find in organic molecules that being nitrogen oxygen sulfur and all of the halogens plus phosphorus uh, are all available to you on this quick drop here and if we put it in you will notice that when i drop oxygen in it automatically fills the oxygen up with the maximum number of hydrogens that it can hold uh, so because oxygen can make two bonds one to this carbon and one to this hydrogen here that's one of the more useful functionalities of this here and we can see um, that this changes depending on what the atom is that I add. So if I want to add a nitrogen, which is a functional group called an amine, I can drop that there. And because nitrogen can make three bonds, one of them goes to this carbon, and the other two would be to the two hydrogens here. The only downside, in my opinion, to Marvin Sketch's representation of uh, organic compounds with nitrogen and oxygen is that it doesn't show the lone pairs so it's it's uh, implied or you have to understand how many lone pairs are present so we've talked about how to make straight chain alkanes how to make uh, relatively simple and quick ring structure alkanes uh, but what we haven't talked about are how we can add in multiple bonds so let's say that we have a four carbon molecule butane and we actually want to give it a double bond well it's quite simple select your single bond tool and then click on the place where we want to add the double bond and simply click again and ta-da we now have a double bond that has been inserted here and to remove the double bond just highlight where the double bond is click again and like magic it was never there in the first place what about triple bond click once click um you'll have to double click quickly in order to get a triple bond to appear but see eventually eventually if you cycle through it enough you can get a triple bond to appear as well and if you want to remove the triple bond simply highlight the location click again and it's back to a single bond the way that it was before so, um, that talks about multiple bonds as well. Uh, is it possible, oops, is it possible to do this with other elements other than carbon? Well, the answer is, of course it is. So, let's say that we want to make an acid functional group. Most people, even those that haven't studied organic chemistry, will recognize CO. OH as an organic acid like in vinegar for example and many other biological compounds so 
If we want to make a carbon to oxygen double bond, all that we need to do, highlight the bond where we need to go, click add bond to this location, and it automatically creates the double bond to the atom in question. And now we have a COOH. This is an organic acid functional group, which we will be exploring later. Now, um, one of the other applications of this program actually is a useful way to uh, design molecules that actually have a 3D structure. So if we wanted, let's say that we wanted to make the 3D structure of phosphoric acid, H3PO4, which would look like this. So we know that phosphoric acid or phosphate is an AX4 molecule because it has one, two, three four bonds so we know that two of those bonds let's say the double bond here and this bond off to the bottom right are going to be planar but can we show this bond coming towards us and this bond going away for us yes we can highlight the bond that you want to change go to your single bond option and in the drop down menu you can actually select whether the bond is pointing forward here and now we see that this bond is coming towards us select this one go to our single bond option drop down menu and you can see the bond that is pointed away from us like this and now we have a way to represent the 3d geometry of the molecule here uh some of the more astute of you would notice that you can even represent resonance structures within this as well so if we um let's take a 2d resonance structure for example so let's say that we want to make carbonic acid so let's try and give it the proper geometry here um so carbon in the center and then we have um so uh a or um carbon in the center two oxygens here so we would have h2co3 in the center and i'm just going to rotate it here so that it's nice and neat now um when if we want to convert this into an ion we can select each of the oxygens and if we go to atom you can actually change the charge of uh, to show that it is ionized here so to show that this oxygen now has a negative charge that it's lost the hydrogen and has three lone pairs now it does now it says that and if we do the same thing to this one adding a negative charge now we have carbonic acid now we know from atomic theory that the double bond does not always need to be in the top position and we can actually more accurately represent that by showing resonance like this and then we can make that same change to all of the individual bonds in this molecule and now we have just created a resonance hybrid structure as well so you can see that the functionality of this program extends far beyond organic chemistry uh, and also allows for many creative applications to structural chemistry atomic theory as well as uh, other applications outside of chemistry such as in biology uh, but as with every program the best way to get familiar with this is just to experiment um, start clicking on things and see what creative options you can come up with because i guarantee you that some of you can find functions that i am not even aware of when using marvin sketch